Hello everyone, it's your boy Richard Evans with another edition of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials. And today I'd like to show you how to take advantage of the built-in NDI capabilities inside of Microsoft Teams. Now Microsoft Teams is chock full of capabilities, but it's also used for video conferencing and it has built-in NDI support so you can take individual caller signals from a group chat and then route them into NDI enabled devices like a TriCaster to produce your show. Now once connected, you can then use those signals as if those callers were right in front of your camera in your studio and embed them into say double boxes, picture in picture effects and more. Now this opens up a whole new world of possibilities for remote productions. It's not hard to pull off, but there are a few steps, so let me share this whole new world with you. Okay, so how we're going to be able to use Microsoft Teams within a TriCaster uh, setup is you'll need to have a separate machine, like a laptop like I'm using now, for example, and run Microsoft Teams off of that. So what we'll need to do within Microsoft Teams is turn on NDI, and to do that, you're going to need to run Microsoft Teams as your administrator. So we'll go ahead and right-click on that, and then run as administrator. If you don't run it as an administrator, this option might not show up. This is something that tripped me up when I first tried to get this up and running. So just FYI, just run Microsoft Teams as administrator. We'll go ahead and let this load up. All right, so now we are in Microsoft Teams. Now I'm blurring up my screen here so you don't see all of my messages that I have going on here. And to access the settings and turn on NDI, you'll go to the very top of Microsoft Teams and click on your profile and then select settings. And in this pop-up is where you're gonna have your different options for the settings for Microsoft Teams. And when you run it as administrator, this option will show up under, uh, it's called permissions. Click on that. And then you'll see here at the bottom, you can now use NDI to send out your calls. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll turn NDI on. All right. And now let me go ahead and make a call to some of my friends here. All right, so now we have our Teams call coming in. Now, let's go ahead, so we just have two calls coming in for the time being, so what I now want to do is move over to the TriCaster and show you how to route these calls into the interface. So, well, we're here in the TriCaster TC1 interface, and I'm gonna bring my caller number one into input number two here. So. We'll go ahead and click on the icon for that. And under input, under our sources, check this out. So I'm gonna go, now go to my tablet, which is what my Teams call is currently broadcasting on. And now you'll see, check this out. I have options to send different channels from Microsoft Teams to my uh, specific inputs. So let's go ahead and do these one by a time. So I have Lenny as my caller number one. So you'll see it even has the names next to him here. So when you make the call, it will connect the names here. So we'll go ahead and put Lenny there first. All right, cool. And if we look back over onto the laptop side of things, check this out. So these videos that are coming into my laptop screen are currently in a square format because of how I have this particular, uh, the, the settings for uh, the constraints for my monitor are set up. But back on the TriCaster interface, you'll notice that it is a full 16 by 9 aspect ratio, which is pretty cool. So it's not doing any scan conversion or anything like that. It's just bringing those, those feeds in automatically. Okay, uh, and now let's go ahead and do the same thing over here in input three. And under our source drop down, we'll go ahead and select my tablet again, and we'll select Chris Craddock in number two, and boom. Now we have all of our sources coming in. Now, uh, now I can just treat these sources like I would any other broadcast. I can switch between them, throw them in virtual sets, uh, et cetera, kind of thing. So now we have our calls coming in through Microsoft Teams uh, and they had coming into our input number two and three. But the next thing I want to show you is the audio side of things because this is a little bit different. So normally you would see here at the bottom under my, our audio mixer that I have these two different channels of audio coming through. But 
it's going to be sending in the entire output of Microsoft Teams audio to these channels. So you basically are having both of those calls coming in into one individual channel. So we don't need to have all of these channels bringing in audio here. So I can mute one of these and now I have all the audio for both inputs two and three coming in on input number two so that I can process it and route it accordingly. So just keep that in mind. NDI support for Microsoft Teams gives you another way to connect to remote callers. Use it exclusively or use it in conjunction with Skype TX or Live Call Connect with the TriCaster 2 Elite to create some really dynamic results. Also, important note, your system administrator may need to enable NDI output for your entire organization for this feature to be available, so please keep that in mind. Uh, also, when your callers are brought into the TriCaster, they will receive a message that their feed is being broadcasted or recorded, so just let them know that before you start your show, just as a courtesy. Uh, I, now, I hope that this video helps to add another tool in your new tech live production tool belt. And if you'd like some more new tech brain candy, subscribe to our YouTube page at youtube.com slash newtechinc. Now, for more information on all of our new tech products, you can contact your local reseller or visit our webpage at newtech.com. Also, be sure to tune into New Tech TV to see all the latest updates on New Tech products, uh, interviews with New Tech users, third party developers, and more. There are tons of people out there using New Tech products in really cool ways, and NewTech.tv is where you can see how it's all being done. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you again soon for another episode of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials. Mm.